John and Tag, how's it going? Hope you've had a really good week and I hope that you're really looking forward to starting back at school. I know there may, may be a few worries around that, but we're really praying for you all. So hopefully you'll be able to be excited and back in that classroom with your friends. Anyway, this week we're up to the bit in Jesus' life where he is starting to teach people all about who he is, who God is, some of the things that God says, some of the things that we should be doing, shouldn't be doing, all that kind of thing. The Sermon on the Mount, we were talking about it last week as well. So this week we're up to the bit where Jesus is starting to talk about how we talk to God. Now we know what prayer is, that it is basically us talking to God and listening to God. But there was a little bit in the Bible where Jesus talked to the people and to his disciples, his team, about how we should pray to God and the kinds of things that we should say. Now you might know it as the Lord's Prayer and that's what we're going to be looking at today, just what Jesus said about how we talk to God. So it's in the Bible, it's in the book of Matthew in chapter 6 and we're going to go through it and talk about exactly what it means. So I'm going to say the prayer so that we know exactly what it is we're talking about. So it starts off, Our Father in heaven, we pray that your name will always be kept holy. We pray that your kingdom will come. We pray that what you want will be done here on earth, just like it is in heaven. Give us the food we need for each day. Forgive the sins we have done, just as we forgive those who've done wrong to us. And do not let us be tested, but save us from the evil one. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours forever. Amen. So this prayer divides up really nicely into four sections and I've colour coded them and I've sent a copy to your parents so that you can have a copy as well. So we're going to have a look at each different section. So section one is all about worshipping God and wanting the things that God wants. And here we have it. Our Father in heaven, we pray that your name will always be kept holy. We pray that your kingdom will come. We pray that what you want will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. So the worshipping bit is the bit where it says our Father in heaven. So we're saying you're God, you're our Father and we know where you live. And we think that your name should always be holy because it's special and it's different and we're saying that we want the things that God wants. Okay, shall we move on to the next section? This is a really short section and this is asking God for the things that we need each day. Give us the food we need for each day. Okay, section three. This one is all about asking for protection from harm and for God's help to live the way that he wants us to live. I'll read it out. Forgive the sins we've done, just as we have forgiven those who did wrong to us. And do not cause us to be tested, but save us from the evil one. Okay, section four, we're back to praise and worship again. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours forever. Amen. So we're going to go through each little section and just have a little think a bit more about what it means. The Old Father in Heaven bit, the section one where it talks about keeping his name holy, that means that God is our Heavenly Father. He made us in the first place and we want to say that we know who you are. We know that you're amazing and we know that you are the ruler of the whole universe. The next bit, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. This means that we want the whole earth to be just the way it was on the day that God created it, when it was perfect. We don't want it to be spoiled, we don't want people to be ill or hurt or sad. We want people to know God and act the way that he wants us to act. And we want earth to be as amazing as heaven is. The next bit, give us today our daily bread. We don't want to be greedy or worry about things. We just want for God to give us the things that he knows that we need each day. And he does that. Forgive us our sins, the things we do wrong. We all get it wrong, don't we? We all do things every day that we wish we didn't do. But if we're truly sorry, God promises that he is going to forgive us. But if we want him to forgive us, we have to forgive all the people as well when they upset or hurt us. The next part, lead us not into temptation, but keep us from the evil one. 
sometimes we all feel a bit tempted, don't we? And we talked about that a few weeks ago, didn't we, when we talked about Jesus in the wilderness. But we can ask God to make us strong so that when that temptation comes, we don't give in to it. And the last bit, the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours forever. This is the bit of the prayer where we worship God, where we praise him for who he is. And the amen bit at the end, that just means that we're all agreeing with each other. We say it at the end of prayers, don't we? And it's to say, if we haven't said the prayer, maybe somebody else has said it, we're agreeing with them. The really amazing thing about praying to God is that he always, always hears us. Now that's not to say that we're always going to get everything that we want, because everything that we want isn't always what's best for us, and God knows what's best for us. But he does always answer our prayer. Sometimes it's an immediate answer straight away, we know the answer. Sometimes we have to wait a little bit, and sometimes God just says no, because it's not good for us. But the one thing that we definitely do know is that God always listens to us and he always wants to speak to us as well. So if we're listening, we'll hear him as well. And the best way we can do that is in our Bibles. We hear God's words, we read God's words and we know who God is. Now we're hoping that really soon we're going to be able to see you all. It's looking a bit more hopeful lately, isn't it? Which is so exciting. Let me tell you, I have missed you all so very much. So please all take care. We will be praying for you and we hope that you'll be getting excited about going back to school and we'll see you again really soon. So take care. Bye everyone.